Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Spartan News. Today is a day three, and we're gonna start off the show with Bennett with news. Yesterday, Dr. Anthony Fauci, the nation's foremost infectious disease specialist, made his return to the White House briefing room. His presence in the room was part of an effort to show eagerness to level with the public about the severity of the pandemic and what can be done to reduce its spread. Just hours after Biden's inauguration, Fauci spoke with the World Health Organization's executive board, telling the body that the United States would not follow through with Trump's demand to leave the group during the pandemic. Google says that it will be shutting down its search engine in Australia if a controversial bill is passed that would benefit the news media in Australia. The company's main concern with the bill is the fact that it would, quote, require payments simply for links and snippets just to news and results in search, which direct with which Australia Managing Director Mel Silva believes would break, quote, the way millions of users search for content online. Facebook is also strongly opposed to the bill as it would allow certain media outlets to make the tech giants pay for them for the privilege of using their links and parts of their articles. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today we'll have some scattered lake effect snow showers with a high of 32. Tomorrow and Sunday we'll drop down into the low 20s with cloudy skies and flurries. Monday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 26. The rest of the week is looking to be cloudy with some snow and highs in the mid to lower 20s. I'm Gabby with the weather. Last night in the NBA, the Los Angeles Lakers beat the Milwaukee Bucks 113 to 106. LeBron James had a season high with 34 points in the victory. Last night in Syracuse, the women's basketball team lost to the number one ranked team, Louisville, 67 to 54. The Orange were led by Emily Angster, who had 16 points in the loss. And yesterday in the NFL, the Pittsburgh Steelers and former first round pick Dwayne Haskins Jr. have agreed on a deal. And I'm Tanner with your sports. And uh, with that, that'll conclude our show. So from everybody here at The Morning Show, we hope that you have a fantastic Friday and a wonderful weekend.